Escaping South House clutches, Liu Bei settled in the Shu province. He would, however, find no rest there. In 200 AD, South Cao led his 200,000 troops in a full-scale invasion of Shu. Liu Bei took up position in Xiaopei with Zhang Fei, and entrusted Guan Yu with the defense of Xiaopi. But all their efforts crumbled before the might of South Cao's army, and the three brothers became separated. Guan Yu was isolated at Xiaopi Castle, together with the wife of his lord and brother, Liu Bei. For Guan Yu, defending the castle was no longer the priority. The lady must be protected at all costs. Alright, so here's the next legend scenario, Guan Yu scenario, the defense of Shu, and its special rules, no items. So, here we go. Alright, so the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the Blue Moon Dragon at level 10. I can't equip any items, the bodyguards are level 2. The objectives, all we have to do is defend the carriage. And uh, obviously, if it gets destroyed, we lose. Also, if I die, we lose. But anyways, you didn't fall. For Liu Bei's forces, all we have is Guan Yu, which is me, and the carriage. And that's it. For South Cao's forces, well, as you can see, there aren't any generals yet, but there will be. I will assure you that. Anyways, let's do it. So here's what you have to do. You have to pretty much defend a carriage, like as was said in the objectives. But um, over the course of time, you'll see these gongs, and all you have to do is hit the gong, and the gate will close. And once the gate closes, a guard captain uh, unit will appear. If they destroy that guard captain, the gate will reopen and you have to hit the gong again to repeat the whole thing over again. The gate will close and then you'll be able to summon another guard captain. So both of these gates are closed right now. Um, in a little bit, the carriage will move. So we're going to have to follow the carriage. And as you can see, the defense unit is already destroyed. So we have to go and hit that gong again. Once reinforcements arrive, you're going to have to hit the gongs in order to uh, allow the carriage to start moving. Because it will not move unless it's pretty much secured. Also, there is a weapon, I mean a weapon, I'm sorry, an item that we could actually get in this stage, the red hair. If you are unable to get it at the Battle of Xi'an under Lu Bu's forces, all you have to do is defeat Guan Yu at the Battle of Xi'an after Guan Yu mounts the red hair. If you can't do that, or if you don't own the original disc, you can do it here. In order to get it here, you have to defeat Eugene when he appears, and before he retreats, which is pretty much when Guan Ping appears. So you have a set period of time to do that. Um, you might want to keep the gates open when he actually appears, so... Just be careful not to allow the enemy to destroy the carriage. Anyways. Yeah, I'm still going to have to wait a little bit. Uh, Eugene should be appearing soon, because Eugene will appear over here, there he is. And then Li Dian will appear after the carriage moves on the right side, and then uh, I think Yui Jin will also appear. So, uh, anyways. Yeah, let's keep that gate open, for now. I will defeat the troops. That way, the carriage won't get obliterated.
Alright, now let's go and defeat Eugene. Alright, there he is. And as you can see, once the carriage is ordered to move, you're gonna have to go and, uh... Alright, we got a bolt. The other gong, and we'll be set. Also, we might have to defeat all the troops over here as well. But, um, anyways. Yeah, so far, so good. Now, just defend the carriage, and then the uh, there will be ambush troops that will appear. I think this time around, it's just troops. The second time around, when the carriage crosses the uh, river, it will be Yui Jean. But I still have to grab the uh, red hair. The red hair, and then the Dim Summon Musu Wine, which are all outside the castle. Defeat some troops over here, then we'll hit the gong. I'm hoping this gate opens like within the next few seconds then I will grab the dim sum over here then when the gate opens again on the right side I'll bolt over to grab the moose and wine and the red hair and then be on my way I think the hardest part is defending the carriage, especially if you allow troops to come in. Anyways, so we got that taken care of. I'll grab the dip sum right here. And then I think Lee Dian is also over here. Or he withdrew. That's fine too. I'm not complaining. I could have sworn Lee Dian was here. Oh, there he is. Yui Jean. Never mind. I think Lee Dian is actually on, in the river.
Yeah, I'm gonna wait until the god captain dies over here before I hit this gong. And then I'll bolt over and grab the uh, moose of wine and the uh, red hair. But then once again, like I said before, if I haven't said it already, Guani will order the carriage to move again. And if you have the gates shut, then it will automatically move. However, if you haven't, you have to make sure those gates are closed before it begins to move again. Oh, there's Li Dian. that over there oh there we go grab some speed shoes that will help I mean I already have it but it would be nice if I could get another pair because uh, that will help me to get over to where I need to go uh, there it is all right let's see if I can get over there grab all that then come back conveniently enough there is a crate that does have speed shoes so that does help If you're trying to get everything, that is. Oh, wow. That gate actually got opened. Uh, okay. Yeah, I'll grab the red hair first. Then I'll grab the speed shoes. And there you go. That should help. I think the carriage is going to start to move. Okay. It would have been a huge waste of time if I actually broke that crate. Now I have to head over here quick. Well, back to the carriage. Before they break it. But it seems like the carriage is perfectly fine. Uh, Alright. What's that? Now the carriage will move again. Head over this way, across the river once more. Um, once it hits the river, there will be another ambush. And then, um, you just gotta defend the carriage there. Then, once that occurs, we're gonna retreat from Xiapi and head to, a, uh, head to a, an escape point. Which will be up in the north where Lu Bu would actually retreat, if you allow him to retreat in the Battle of Xiapi. So... Once you head over there and the carriage is still intact, Zhang Liao will appear and he'll pretty much convince you, Guan Yu, to uh, join and surrender uh, 
the south cell, which will eventually lead to Guan Yu serving um, south cell for the battle of Guan Du. We will not be able to hold much longer. Abandon the capital. We will escape from the north. There we go. So all we have to do now is defend the carriage and head over there, and we'll be set. Okay, let's uh be careful here. What is this carriage doing? There we go. I was gonna say, it's heading straight for the enemy. Um. carriage could take so fucking long just to get to one spot to the other. Alright, that definitely helped. Almost there. If this carriage actually goes in the right direction, what the actual fuck? I swear to god, if this carriage gets destroyed just because it's going in the opposite direction, I'm gonna be pissed off. <laughs> I mean, come on, really? Are you kidding me? There you go. Alright, we're good. That shouldn't have been as difficult. <laughs> I mean, really. There you go. We got it. Mind that. Further would only endanger our lady. Very well, Zhang Liao. Until I find my brother, I shall yield to the banner of the Han. And that's a win. All right, so. As I said before, this is pretty much right before the Battle of Gwandu, and um, according to the story of the Romance of the Three Kingdoms, there are three conditions that Guan Yu requested when he decided to serve under Cao Cao. Number one, make sure that Liu Bei's wives were protected and uh, were treated well. Number two, he actually surrendered to the Han flag, not Cao Cao. And third, and most importantly, if he ever discovered the whereabouts of Liu Bei, he would be allowed to leave Cao Cao to reunite with him. So those were, well, that's pretty much a uh, fun fact for you on that one. But anyways, so that's a win. We got the Red Hair Harness, even though we already obtained it, there's another way to get it, like I said before. In the battle, Xia Pi, under Lu Bu's forces for the original disc, all you have to do is defeat Guan Yu after he mounts the Red Hair. If that's a bit difficult for you, or if you don't own the original disc, or you don't know how to get it, whichever reason it may be, here's the other way. All you have to do here 
is play in Guan Yu's legend mode and defeat Eugene before he withdraws, which is pretty much around the time where Guan Ping will appear. So, you gotta make sure to defeat Eugene before Guan Ping appears. Plain and simple. Anyways, so we got that. Our KO count is 555. Our worthy opponents is only three. Um, our clear time is 16 minutes and 45 seconds. Uh, we're probably going to have a lot of points, but it ain't going to matter because Guan Yu's rank is at max. So, I'm just saying. 7,310 points. Like I said, not that it matters because Guan Yu, well, his rank is at max, as you see here. Alright. The weapon experience doesn't matter because we have a level 10 weapon. The bodyguards, as you know, I can give two shits. Right, the grade. Almost forgot about that. We got an A. We'll save. And there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4. In some cases, it's Extreme Legends, but for me, it's still 4. And I'll see you in the next part where we'll go and complete another Legend scenario. So, peace out.